everybody and welcome to day 14 of our six minute writing, Wellspring writing. Today our prompt is going to be an emotion. So I'm going to get right in there early. I'm going to ask us to be a little bit more interactive this morning on Facebook Live. I would like to hear some suggestions of emotions that we could look at today. One of the challenges sometimes of writing can be taking an abstract idea and thinking about how to evoke that in a more concrete way. And I wanted to push you all to be a bit more imaginative this morning. So could I have some, some suggestions here on Facebook Live for emotions? One example of an emotion, for example, could be anger or happiness or sadness or frustration. So I want you to choose an emotion. Uh, anxiety, disappointment. They're starting to come through now. Sorry, there's a little bit of a lag there. So what I would like you to do is choose one emotion out of all those. Thanks to Francis and thanks to Janie for your suggestions there. Uh, and joy as well. Thank you, Francis. Choose one emotion. And I would like you to think today in your six minute writing, your free writing, not just about how that feels. Think about show, don't tell that. Think about how that comes across within your body. Think about how that could be shown. Oh, hello, Sassy. Um, think about how that could be shown through weather, through colour. Think about concrete things that you could use to help evoke that emotion throughout your writing. Okay, so your six minute writing, choose an emotion, any emotion, and then think about making it from, the, turning it from the abstract into the concrete. Okay, so your six minutes, I'll set up the timer on my phone. Six minutes on the emotion of your choice. Remember, keep going. Keep writing, even if you don't know what to write. This is a bit more of a challenging one, uh, maybe this morning. I usually just let you free write. So just keep it, keep writing. And if Sassy keeps me out, I will mute the microphone until the six minutes are up. Okay, so six minutes. Keep writing, keep writing, keep writing. Go. <coughs> Another tip, everybody, is bring in all your senses. Think about what you can see, hear, touch, taste, smell. What does that emotion look like, sound like, feel like, taste like, feel like?
Okay, everybody. <clears throat> That's your six minutes up. If you want to continue writing, of course, keep doing so. Just pause this. Uh, I hope you found that useful. I think it's a technique that you can bring to refresh your writing anything, to be honest, and help you think, as I say, a little bit more imaginatively. You could also think about that emotion as an object and then focus, hone right in on that object. So what object might symbolise that emotion? I think that's particularly useful when you're thinking about poetry, but it can help liven up your prose writing as well, uh, particularly flash fiction, possibly as well. Anyway, I hope you all have a lovely Monday. This is Monday the 5th. Get my glasses on, I think, before I read that. Yeah, the 6th of April. So I hope you all have a lovely day. Feel free to share about. Um, feel free to share what uh, the way that took you. Okay, so, yeah. Stay safe, stay happy, and happy writing, everybody. Thanks for joining us again.